for the Vampire Diaries convention. Um, it's their farewell tour and I'm super excited to bring you guys along. Um, it is a three day thing, but today is our travel day and tomorrow is gonna be really fun and interesting. So I can't wait to bring you guys along. Let me show you my outfit. My shirt is from Tommy, but I thrifted it. My pants are IMG, uh, the Cobain pants, and then I just have combat boots, and my newsboy or paperboy hat is from Princess Polly, and then my jacket is the, like, olive green teddy coat from IMG. So yeah, can't wait for this weekend. I um, hope you guys enjoy the vlog. of TBD Nashville. It's Saturday. It's Paul and Ian day. Um, just finishing getting ready. What? And Steven. And Steven day. <laughs> um, and I just finished getting ready. I'll show you my outfit. So this is from Target. This is from Target. My plaid pants are from Forever 21. And then I have combat boots on that are from JCPenney. And my makeup is on fleek. Thank the Lord. Yeah. Do you want to say hi, Leah? Huh? Say hi. Going in focus, I guess the camera does not want to see you. Hi. There we go. <laughs> but. Was it? But that moment. But that moment. But that moment. It was a nice ending. Which, by the way, after sort of the rocky road of every episode, everyone's gonna die, I hope something happens, but we, I think we realized in that moment, this is it. it, it the camera was on him, it was his close up. So, in the day, it's still, it's still gonna be, uh, he has to be calm, right? For me, I shot my cover short, so we turned around and stuff and on the call, that last tape, but the second to last tape is actually the one that we used, and I knew that was the one because it was just flawless. It was like, oh my god. And, and I stopped, we, when Julie finally yelled, cut, I sort of, like, tears in my eyes, so I sort of turned around, and my makeup artist was there, and sort of like, I was like, I don't want to see it. It was really cool and emotional. And I walked up uh, to the door, and I knocked at the door. And uh, a very dear, uh, loving sister and uh, a great champion of Vampire has given us all of this amazing knowledge and things that I've brought out. And I said it next to the door, but I knocked on that door for the last time. And the camera was over my shoulder, right? Going on the wall. And the door opened, and there was stuff. And I knew it was the last day, because I could hear Julie like, and I could hear shuffling, right? All these people, was like, wait. We didn't get mud, or are people gonna jump out and like throw confetti at it. And I opened the door, Paul opened the door, and we did the scene, and we hugged. And over his shoulder, I could see people running around in these cans of that spray confetti shit. And they just started gouging us with it, and the whole crew was like, like, literally the last moment of this incredible, incredible series. 
eight years of our lives. Um, and that was an insanely emotional moment. It was really special. Um, and then we talked to you and you know, and um, it, was, it, it was insanely uh, emotional for so many reasons. <laughs> Fighting with Elena. <laughs> You were making serious for him. He was a drunk, alcoholic, lunatic who was 165 years old and fell in love with a 17-year-old. You people kept that on the air. Not us. It was a long day. Having to deal with Leah. All shade. I'm vlogged. Mm, since Ian and Paul's panel, I think, for their Q&A. But that's just because... Oh, look, she subscribed to me. How nice. We love that. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't picked up this camera since their panel. But it was a long day. So I thought I would do a story time. So I'll start with Ian because he was first. Um, so we had to wake up pretty early, like 7.30. If you ever get the chance to meet him, do it. So we took it and I was telling him about my dad, if you don't know, passed away with cancer last year. So Ian really helped me get through that. So I told him that. And I was like, yeah, you know, you really helped me last year when my dad passed. And it really means a lot. And he was like, he grabbed me by the shoulders. And he was like, Oh, you know, like, I'm glad I could help. Um, and just hold on to the positive memories because those are what matter the most. And, um, stay strong. I love you. And, um, then he was like, thanks, sister, for coming. And I was like, sister. <laughs> Full James Charles moment. But he's just really sweet. And it made me really happy that he's such a humble person because you never know when you meet people how they're gonna be that guy you know flights and I mean it's just nice that he took the time to come out and individually like have conversations with people um I just think that that's very rare and it really shows his character and he's such a sweetheart he had a break and then I met Riley, she's Freya on the originals. She was really sweet. I don't really have a story for her, but sweetheart, love her. And then I met Stephen R. McQueen. I was last in line to meet Stephen, but it was going really quickly because they needed to get caught up with everything. Um, but I was like, hey, how are you? And he was like, he like paused for me to take the picture. And then he was like, I'm good, how are you? And I bought an extra Paul ticket. So I got two photos, walked up to him, and I was like, hi, and he said, hey, and then we took the picture. He was like, you know, thanks for coming, and I was like, uh oh, like I have another photo to take with you, um, so you can't get rid of me that easily, and he laughed, and I take pride that I made Paul Wesley laugh, like, So then he was like, what do you want to do for the pose? And I was like, I don't know. And then he like put his arms like this around me and he was like, can we do a dancing pose? But at the same time he said that, I was like, let's just do a peace sign. So he was like, oh yeah, we can do that. And I was like, I could have danced with Paul Wesley. Still a cute picture, or two cute pictures. So I went to vlog, but I couldn't pick my camera up just like come out and film like I was doing a lot of things trying to watch panels and 
get pictures with everybody and I was mostly doing that the whole time so I couldn't really have my camera out to vlog anyway. So it's currently 10 30. Um, I got home about an hour ago. I'm super tired. We were in the car for like 10 hours driving, and we live in Ohio, so the weather's horrible. It's snowing, of course. Love Ohio and love that people don't know how to drive in Ohio. Um, but I'm super tired i honestly was just kind of chilling in the car i didn't really pick up my camera to vlog but i thought i should do an outro so this is my outro i hope you enjoyed this somewhat of a travel vlog um it might just be a bunch of stuff thrown together we'll see how this turns out but i hope you enjoy please subscribe it would mean a lot um yeah thanks see you guys in my next video Bye.